Hi, and welcome. In this episode of McCoy TV, we will find out how SAP S4HANA can help you to process intercompany shipments as efficient as possible. All right, first some context. In short, an intercompany shipment is a goods movement between different entities. For example, between a production plant and a warehouse. Intercompany shipments are an integral part of a supply chain, and as such, they take place regularly and typically contain a lot of stock. Therefore, it makes sense to optimize this process as much as possible to reduce valuable time and save money. By using SAP S4HANA and the embedded extended warehouse management functionality, SAP provides you with the right tools to make this happen. In this demo, we will show you how. For this demo, let's take an example of a company that produces and sells bicycles. The assembly of bicycles is located in the Netherlands, but there is a warehouse in Germany which manages the sales to Eastern Europe customers. As a result, there is a daily shipment between Netherlands and Germany. The process starts with the creation of an intercompany purchase order or stock transport order. In this example, let's assume that we ship 50 blue bicycles and 30 red bicycles from the Dutch manufacturing facility to the German warehouse. In this screen, you can see these two items in the intercompany purchase order. Based on a stock transport order, an outbound delivery is being created and distributed to the warehouse management system of the Dutch manufacturing facility. This outbound delivery is automatically assigned to a pick wave, which, be, which is being used to optimize the picking process. Here you can see the two items, so the 50 blue bicycles and 30 red bicycles. And by clicking on the wave, you can see that they are assigned to the picking wave. As you can imagine, you have to use several pallets to pack and ship the bicycles. Let's assume that you can fit four bikes on a pallet, so we need 20 pallets for the complete shipment. During the picking process, we create a handling unit for each pallet. Each handling unit has its own unique number. In this scenario, we are using SSCC number ranges to make sure that the process is GS1 compliant. In the previous step, we have seen how we can release the wave and create the picking tasks. We have now switched to the RF framework, which is used by the operator to pick the goods from the shelves. So we log on to the scanner and navigate to the picking screen so that we can execute the picking order. In the first step, we create a picking handling unit, in this case a pallet, and we navigate to the uh, source storage bin, where we pick, in this case, four pieces of the red bicycle on the pallet. This pallet is then brought to the packing area for further processing. As you can imagine, you have to do this 20 times to fulfill the 20 pallets. Um, so once picking is completed, SAP EWM knows exactly which products are stored on which handling unit. This means that we can post a goods issue for the outbound delivery. At this moment, SAP will also print the delivery note containing all the relevant inf shipping information, including all handling unit data. Furthermore, SAP EWM will send all the handling unit information to the outbound delivery in the backend S4HANA system. The goods are now ready to be transported to the warehouse in Germany. During the transfer between the Netherlands and Germany, the stock is visible in SAP as stock in transit, as is displayed in this screen. In the background, SAP has already created an inbound delivery, which can be used by the German warehouse during the goods receipt. This inbound delivery was triggered by the goods issue of the outbound delivery and contains all the relevant information, including the handling units. Once the truck arrives at the German warehouse, the warehouse can use this inbound delivery to efficiently receive and store the different bicycles. Because the inbound delivery already contains all handling unit information, it is not required to do any packing or repacking. The receiving warehouse can simply scan each unique handling unit and SAP already knows the content of the handling unit and can determine the optimum storage location within the warehouse. We are now logging into the German warehouse to show you how you can receive the handling units with the bicycles. So we log into the German warehouse and we find the inbound delivery which was already created by the outbound delivery. Here we can again see the contents of the complete delivery and we can see the number of handling units per item. So again here we can see the different handling units with the contents of each handling unit. 
In this case, we will not use the RF framework to do the goods received, but we will post the goods received directly from this screen. This way, we immediately receive all the handling units on stock, and we are able to process them further in the German warehouse. So, time for a short recap. We have seen how SAP can help you to efficiently process intercompany shipments. The pick and pack process in the shipping warehouse is optimized using SAP EWM functionality. And the goods receipt process in the receiving warehouse is very efficient because all the ending unit information is already available. At McCoy & Partners, the intercompany shipment functionality is one of the building blocks of the Intelligent Logistics Solution portfolio. This solution is based on the SAP best practices, but has been enriched with advanced building blocks and enhancements to provide even more functionality. Are you interested to find out more about the intercompany shipment process or about our intelligent logistics solution? Click the link in the description to find out more. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Goodbye.